I would like to welcome you in the lecture series of sensors and transducers. In this session, I am going to discuss what are the different methods of measurement of liquid level. Especially, I am going to talk about the direct method of measurement of liquid level and the indirect method of measurement of liquid level. Before beginning of the session, I request everyone to subscribe my channel. If the channel is useful, kindly share with your friends. Let us discuss what are the different methods of measurement of liquid level. Especially there are different applications uh, to check the liquid level. So the liquid level refers to the position or height of the liquid surface above a datum line. There is a standard line. So every time it is not possible to touch the particular liquid and identify because of acid. If I talk about acid, how do you check? Is it possible to check directly? No, never be possible. Some poisonous liquid will be there. Will it be possible? Never. So that we need different methods. So direct methods are applicable for to check the liquid level for a less risky liquid. So different methods such as slide glass, level gauge, float gauge, okay, you know float and the float and shaft liquid level gauge, etc. These are the methods are very much popular for measurement of liquid, which are very less uh, risky. But if the liquids are too risky and if the area of uh, work or area of location is too not admissible, at that time you can go ahead with the indirect method of measurement. So there are different type of indirect method of measurement such as hydrostatic pressure devices, capacitive type level gauge, gamma rays liquid level gauge, then ultrasonic liquid level gauge. These are the different methods. I will be mainly focusing on indirect method of measurement of liquid level. Let's get started. First in the foremost, I am going to talk about the capacitive type liquid level. First of all, the capacitance that is equal to epsilon A by D, right? Similarly, the capacitance will be directly proportional to epsilon. So the epsilon, that is the permittivity actually, permittivity of the medium. So capacitance are directly proportional to the dielectric constant or you can call permittivity. So this permittivity is the product of relative permittivity and the absolute permittivity. Those things you know already. Suppose if the direct value of dielectric constant is high, obviously the capacitance also will be very much high. The main components of capacitive type level gauges are two parallel plates. As you can able to see there are two insulated metal electrodes. This is one and another one is second electrodes. It is separated by a certain distance. And you can mark this is your datum level, datum or standard level. And uh, the liquid is having certain dielectric constant epsilon. That is right. Okay. Then, if the water level is very much high, what is going to happen? Okay. So, you can able to say that the dielectric constant varies with respect to liquid level. Suppose, greater the level, definitely larger the value of capacitance. If the water level is very less, smaller the value of capacitance. And also you can able to measure in terms of other parameters as well. Okay, this is actually called the capacitive type level gauge. Here you are mainly focusing the parameter, the dielectric constant or you can call permittivity. So it varies with respect to, dielectric constant varies with respect to the liquid level. So this is a main parameter which is taken into consideration. Then you can output can be given to the measurement circuits. Okay, that can be measured later. Thereby, the liquid level will be measured in terms of capacitance. Capacitance is an electrical quantity. The liquid level, that is a mechanical quantity. Thus, uh, the method is satisfied. Now, I am going to discuss about gamma rays liquid level. How about gamma rays liquid level? Our ultimate goal is to measure the liquid level. There is a datum. So we have the source of gamma rays and uh, the gamma rays will be sending through the particular liquid where I need to measure the height or datum. Okay. In the opposite side there is a sensor. You can see the sensor and uh, the sensor is connected to the digital circuits, electronic circuit basically. The intensity of gamma rays will be depending on liquid level. When the tank is empty, maximum radiation will be reaches to the sensors. 
suppose if the if the level is very much high liquid level is high very less amount of gamma rays will be reaching over there so you will be getting very less amount you will you'll be getting the different counting the counting will be different okay so you are going to check the level of gamma rays with respect to the water level so based on the available based on the water level the quantity of gamma rays which is reaching at this particular area will be reduced okay if the water level is high if the water level is low that means maximum amount of gamma rays will be reaching over that so you will be getting from the counter so this type of method is known as gamma rays liquid level here mainly you are focusing on the quantity of gamma rays reached at the receiving end side suppose if the water level is high less amount of gamma rays reaches at the receiving end side that is a major 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 uh, point of consideration okay so this type of method is known as a uh, gamma rays liquid level now i would like to discuss about ultrasonic liquid level measurement first of all let's familiar the setup so we have the transmitter and the receiver then th there is a tank where the liquid is filled you can observe the liquid level which is kept it over there from the transmitter you will be passing the ultrasonic waves ultrasonic waves that is reaches to the receiving end through the certain water medium or liquid medium it may be any any type of liquid then you will be measuring the time taken time taken to reach the particular ultrasonic signal from the transmission side to receiver side that time will be counting you will be checking the timing how do you measure the timing with the help of any type of counter you are going to check the timing so with respect to the time you will be calculating the liquid level there is a liquid level indicator so that time is a crucial factor here how long it takes to reach from sending end to receiver side or transmitting end to receiver end side so based on that a liquid level will be determined another method is known as electrical level gauge how does electrical level gauge work first of all you need to take a beaker and in that you will be keeping the certain amount of liquid and uh, your liquid level will be decided at there is a datum level then you will be connecting the particular liquid particular uh, the liquid interface directly to a triode it comprises of cathode anode and the grid line it is basically a triode tube suppose if the liquid if the liquid is not no if the liquid level is too empty if the liquid level is very less we can say that circuit will not be completed the triode will not be operated at that time there won't be any alarm suppose if the liquid level reaches its certain height or datum level definitely circuit will be completed then the triode tube will be activated this triode will act as a switch only here thereby the alarm or relay circuit is going to activate two cases are that number one no no liquid at that time the triode will not be operated because it will not circuit will not be completed that is the first case second case if the liquid is reaches its datum level definitely the triode will activated because it's a switch on and off thereby the alarm will be activated nowadays these triodes are replaced with transistors definitely it will act as a switch say electronic switch you know so this type of arrangement is known as electrical level gauge you can make out this kind of setup as a hobby projects you can do it for mini projects okay using the uh, bc547 transistor you can able to make out and you can e easily make out the liquid level setup you can able to measure the liquid level okay this is one of the hobby project you can able to make out so another setup is called measurement by using laser the full form of laser is light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation the frequency ranges are in between 430 to 750 terahertz there are transmitters and receiver through transmitter the laser beam will be passing and it uh, detects the water level and uh, the whatever the particular laser beam you have sent that will come back to the receiver inside so the time will be measured actually the time the time required to reach uh, the la laser beam to come back to the receiver there is a formula time is equal to f of d and uh, the time can be calculated by using the formula 2d by uh, c so where c is the velocity of light so the time will be measured uh, to check the water level 